Hi guys, this is just going to be a simple video on how you can change your IP address from DHCP to a static address. Uh, this is going to be uh, for Windows 7 users as well as Windows Vista users. However, this will be a lot different on a Windows XP machine. Videos will follow. So, um, I've actually written a guide for how you can do it. So, if you just wanted to go across to wilson18.com and if you go to the how to section and scroll down you can find the how to change your IP address on Windows 7 so if you wanted to go ahead and open that up um, we can start so in the bottom corner of your screen you will see the one of these two icons these are what um, will be your network interface so if you go across and right click that and then we can go to the open network and sharing center we can then go across to change adapter settings and here are your current network adapters um, I've got a ethernet adapter as well as a virtual one and a wireless one uh, in this I'm just going to change the IP address on a wireless network connection so if you wanted to click on the one you wanted to edit and go to the properties section that should bring up another window so if we scroll down and go to the TCP IP version 4 or the internet version 4 um, and double click that you will then be able to change your adapter setting so it, it, it's on mine it's currently setting set to obtain an IP address automatically we're going to go ahead and change that to use the following IP address so if you wanted to put in the IP address you want to give yourself so I'm giving myself a 10.0.0.60 address and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 that should be the same on pretty much all networks um, the default gateway is the address of your router and um, mine is 10.0.0.1 and the DNS server can also be the same address as your router or you can use a different one such as Google's DNS servers which for example, on here I'm going to be using 8.8.8.8. .8 so, if you wanted to stick with that, you can do, or you can actually go ahead and add multiple um, IP addresses. For example, if I wanted to give myself a 192.168.0 address, then I can go ahead and click Add here, and then I'll add the address details there. I don't need to, so I'm just going to click OK and close all that down and once we've gone ahead and closed all that down you should see that it's now changed to our network and we can actually get on the internet so that is how you change your IP address on a Windows 7 machine um, if you've got any requests or you'd like to find out anything then please feel free to uh, leave some comments below uh, leave any comments on our website or even follow us on Facebook, Twitter and everything else thank you very much for watching